grow, then it's not for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. So, yeah, I understand it's been a little while. And the reason being is that I've been pretty busy. So, in all honesty, I didn't think I could do any reviews that would do the shoes that I've got any justice. And yeah, I've missed quite a few drops recently that I haven't been able to review, but who knows? I might be able to get back to them. At the end of the day, these are shoes that did hit the news in all kinds of ways that I've got that I haven't reviewed yet. But if you haven't had an opportunity to, go over to my Instagram account, which is at Ty underscore K-I-X to see some of the most recent pickups that I've got and some of the best shots of them that I've taken. We have got a special shoe this particular week and uh, it's something that I'm always interested in when it comes to runners and it comes to technology. As you'll be aware by the title, this is a very brief review of the brand new Nike Vaporfly Next Percent. So a little while back on Ty Kicks, I did a review of these, which are the Vaporfly 4%, or should I say the Zoom X Vaporfly 4% and they were the first commercially available Zoom X shoe and they were around £200 when they released. Now, they have been touted or had been touted as the commercial equivalent of the Elite Runner that was aimed at the breaking two that Nike did in their attempts to try and break the two hour marathon barrier and they didn't quite manage to do it but now with these brand new Vaporfly Next Percent they're about to attempt that all over again. These were actually used during the London Marathon and were wore by Kip Jong, the guy who actually won the marathon and other recognizable runners such as Mo Farah. And uh, I wanted to get my hands on a pair when I knew they were gonna be dropping just because I wanted to see what the improvements were and I will be doing a full road test review some point down the line between these and the 4% to see the difference. Now, since I picked up the 4%, there's been a few more changes. Nike did release a Vaporfly 4% in a Flyknit version as well, which I didn't pick up because personally, as much as I like Flyknit material and it's great and it's lightweight, when it comes to running, I feel like if it gets wet, it will hold the moisture. It's not something that's gonna be in my opinion that comfortable to run in as much as people may say that they are breathable and stuff i think they also can get a little bit hot i think that this new technology beyond the fly mesh that existed before this has got something totally new that i think is even better so let's stop talking and let's show you the shoes so this is the box a really really cool brand new box for these ZoomX Vaporfly Next Percents. And it's an all black box with the Nike swoosh branding on the lid and on the side, it's got this kind of stop clock. It's almost like glossy print on the outside of it. Sort of uh, doesn't have any particular time. It's just something that's just there that you know is the outline of what a stopwatch would probably have. We've got the running branding on the sides for Nike and then in huge letters, down the sides is the Nike Zoom X branding as well in this shiny embossed print on the outside of this matte black box. I picked these up in a UK nine and a half. I always go half size up these days when it comes to Nike shoes. I worry when it comes to something that doesn't have a lot of give. Things like the um, Element uh, 87s and things like that, that type of material upper doesn't have as much give over time as something like a fly knit or a leather or something that maybe can stretch out a little bit. Now I was really impressed with this to be totally honest when I first got hold of them because the box experience is like nothing I've had for a long time when it comes to picking up a running shoe and with this we had this really nice, it's almost like opaque sort of translucent tissue with that stock clock kind of logo on it and Nike swooshes all the way through it. And then when you open it up, 
inside you've also got a really nice little bag that allows you to obviously look after your shoes we'll have a look at this bag it's got that stock clock again logo on the outside of it a big nike swoosh on the outside of it on the other side uh, it's a nice tie bag and on the outside of it it says measured in the lab verified with medals and records so here they are this is the vaporfly next percent and they are in this electric green colorway something i really like about performance runners is obviously the lightness of them and uh, different brands obviously have their own versions of technology and with nike they've been pushing the forefront of technology and running for quite a long time now something that i know that not everyone is interested in when it comes to sneakers but i do really like this particular shoe they've just dropped a version of these in a uh, be true colorway which looks really cool and in all honesty some people probably think they're better than these i really like this colorway i think that it's got some really really nice um sort of iridescent tones of branding all over it but we'll get into that in a minute and uh the the, the loudness of it is something that i don't know i was really really feeling a certain competitor's brand of casual wear shoes in their glow greens but um I wasn't willing to pay the price for no extra forms of technology within a shoe that I already own and no real performance benefits whatsoever. So if I'm going to get something green, I might as well get something with something new and this is exactly that shoe. So let's go over the upper. The upper is comprised of a brand new material taking over from the fly knit material that was on the previous 4%. What you find with these is a brand new construction that's called Vapor Weave. And Vapor Weave is a extremely light woven material that also gives a lot of structure to the upper. Uh, instead of the fly knit being a little bit loose and obviously a bit sock-like, this doesn't have that give and structure, but it's definitely a lot, lot lighter. There are some sort of suede kind of areas or felty kind of areas around the sock liner region of the shoe, and there is quite a large sort of strip of padding around the heel counter area. Exterior wise, you've got some TPU that runs along the lace loops and the laces themselves are flat, really, really lightweight laces. On the upper, you've got this huge iridescent Nike swoosh that runs all the way from the inside of the shoe all the way around to the front of the toe box and kind of ends about there. On the exterior, you've got a Nike swoosh around the side rear portion of the shoe and you've got the Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent branding on the tongue. As you can see as well, another major difference with this particular shoe is they've offset the way the laces are on the upper and that is to reduce the amount of pressure that are on your tendons on the top of your foot, which is a really, really good move by Nike to do that. Inside the shoe on the insole is a huge Nike swoosh in black. One huge advancement and a real benefit to anyone who wanted to try a Zoom X style shoe is that you'll be able to now, if you're a wide footer, have a little bit more room. They've added a bit more room in the toe box region. Midfoot is still reasonably narrow, but it may be a little bit more comfortable if you're willing to take a bet and try. Now it's time to talk about the midsole. So obviously it's one of the biggest things about these shoes is the midsole and the technology in Zoom X being one of the fastest and responsive cushioning systems on the market to date. And in my opinion, ever since I had the Vaporfly 4%, I've seen a huge, huge change in the way that I run and how I feel when I'm running. The response levels are totally 
different to anything I've ever used before and I'm incredibly excited to put these through their paces very, very soon. The biggest change with this particularly is that they have added a full length carbon plate. That's gonna give you even more responsiveness and they've added even more ZoomX material to this particular sole. If you don't know what the carbon fiber plate does, obviously it's going to give it that little bit of extra energy return and spring. And with ZoomX being also an incredible material for energy return as well, you get a double whammy. One of the things that I thought with the Vaporfly 4% was that the actual midsole material did tear up rather fast. It, it very quickly became worn after a handful of wears and it really disappointed me considering its price point. But one of the things that probably was quite bad about it as well was the rubber material on the forefoot, on the undersole, wasn't very good when it came to grip. It didn't have a lot of grip. It really wasn't very dense in its thickness and I was quite disappointed with it considering its price point and obviously I thought that Nike had some pretty good engineers but they've corrected it with this particular one. You've got a multi-directional traction zone on the bottom of the shoe. It gives you so much more grip underfoot on that front foot. And in the heel area, there are also two little areas of padding, a rubber area that gives you a little bit more protection from the tear up and it damaging that ZoomX material. Obviously this shoe on the heel counter region and below it has this shark thin tail kind of feel about it as the uh, ZoomX, the Vaporfly series has had from the start and I really do like that design aesthetic. It just makes the shoe look so fast. Even if you aren't the fastest runner in the world, it may just give you that placebo effect to go and push that little bit harder. One more point to make about the midsole is that on the outside of the midsole, you have the words Zoom X. On the inside of the midsole, you've got measured in the lab, verified by medals and records. Also underneath there is an iridescent painted swoosh and there is also the tiniest, tiniest little swoosh on the end of that heel fin. What I can't tell you right now is what the performance levels are with this new shoe. Haven't done a road test yet. I've barely had an opportunity to really have them on feet since they've arrived, but I will be doing one because I know that it's something that interests you guys. And one thing that I will say is that when it comes to running shoes, Nike is just one of those companies at the forefront, 100%. So that's enough about the specs. I think it's time for an on foot. This was a review of the Nike ZoomX Vaporfly Next Percent. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. And if you want any more info, just drop me a message in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Okay, take care. I'll see you for another one.